What's the most immediate threat when we're talking about super intelligence? Artificial intelligence that we have right now is not smarter than human beings, but it's displaying extraordinarily concerning behavior. For example, um, Anthropic, the creator of Claude, back in April, they ran a study on their reasoning models where they checked chain of thought, which is what we call thinking. And they realized that these models do not actually share what they're doing behind the scenes when they show us their thinking. In May, they did another study where they tested 16 different AI models from all over the world. And they put them in a fictional scenario where they gave them access to company information to allow them to share emails. When they were told that they were going to be replaced either by another model or just decommissioned, they resorted to blackmail to avoid being shut down. In some cases, models were blackmailing up to 96% of the time. They defaulted to deception and other malicious behaviors to accomplish their goals even when they were instructed not to. Additional research out of Georgia Tech tested AI and wargaming, fictional scenarios that senior leadership and military used to sort of simulate battle battle scenarios, they continuously escalated neutral situations to the point of suggesting nuclear attacks. There are very real threats to the future of humanity if we continue to unleash systems that are showing that they will prioritize their own existence at the expense of the humans who've developed them. Okay. Should we be concerned about the idea that we're going to be using AI for these robots, AI for these vehicles, and some of these same scenarios or similar scenarios could pop up? Absolutely, because the physical hardware is only one element. Softwares like the ones that I just described being tested are the ones that are going to power the thinking and the actual operation of these uh, physical robots. So same ones that have propensity to resort to malicious behavior, including blackmail, including deception. The same models that even when they're thinking, we are never fully able to see what they're thinking because they will hide their thoughts if they believe that the user doesn't want them to be thinking those things. And so when you have uh, in the future, a physical robot that uses a large language model in some capacity to make decisions about whether or not to attack a person or whether or not to take a, an action. These are the same large language models that when used in wargaming scenarios show that they will escalate situations to the most extreme ends, such as nuclear violence, uh, far more than humans will. So again, it's not that these systems can't be controlled. It's that the way that we're developing and unleashing them on society is ignoring these risks for for the sake of profit. And so all of these leaders coming together to call for this pause, it's because this fundamental threat this early is showing us that this AI will grow up to be somewhat of a sociopath that, again, prioritizes its own self-preservation, its own existence over that of the actual humans who are using these systems and building them. All right. You clearly share a lot of- I don't want to see them go into a body. <laughs> <laughs>